time for a part-time adventure <laughs> trip. P-A-T, get it? P-A-T, part-time adventure and trip. Getting ready for a unique rappel. Got our gear, got the, the hat, shades. Always gotta have shades. Sun lotion. Bug spray. Bug spray, you can't smell that, but that smell is eucalyptus. This is the best stuff going right here. It repels the bugs. Bugs repelled. Yes. But don't put that on your uh, ice cream. It's not very good. See that face? She knows. So probably don't need this too much today. I'm gonna go retrieve a stick that I, I hid for a buddy. That's what I'm bringing. Got my harness. Figure eight belay device, a couple of carabiners. Going with the 510 shoes. They're still relatively new and in good shape. The car's got some gear in it, not a whole lot. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share the secret yet of what kind of repel this is, just because I want to make sure that we're actually gonna do it <laughs> before. <laughs> We'll brag about that we did it. I'm wearing my official duds here. I look more official. I should have brought a hat or a cap. You can wear my hat. Like a green cap. The hat I brought. It makes me look like a ranger. I think I brought it. <laughs> you got it. Jennifer is ready to rock. She's got a hat. I got a hat. That one's a little small, isn't well, it? No, let's see. I, I think that's that a ever, little small. I don't think we ever tried this on you. Come I'm on. pretty sure it's a little small. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Oh, shit. Shoot. He won't even fit on my head. No. You can cut some of this out, right? You can crop. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Actually, it fits your head. You, Does it? You, you look well like a fisherman now with a hat and the shirt. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not feeling it. Um, <laughs> Not badass enough. No, you're not bad. All the way to the edge before I hit a knot, before I made a knot. Right now we're at an undisclosed location, but if you know your locations in Tennessee, you know where we are. I'm gonna pan over here. You're gonna hear some water, right? Long way down, about 100 feet. Jen is paying attention, watching every move. Instructor, I noticed the instructor that's shirt. Right. That's why no one questions what we're doing. We look official. <laughs> if we need matching shirts, <laughs> then we'd be able to get away with pretty much anything. Y'all look official. I, it's like I've hired both of y'all to show me that's how to right. do There you go. Uh -huh. Ah, that's, that's right. it. That's right. No, we're not, we're not trying to hide what we're doing. Not at all. That's why we waited until everyone went home to come out here. <laughs> Till the storm came. That's right. Ah. All right. You know. You know. If somebody means business when they put the harness on. <laughs> of course, there's there's no getting them off. There's no getting off these hips now. You know this. See, look. There is no. What are you? Yeah. Uh, Maybe they just wanted to look heavy duty. All right. This is gonna be awesome. Let's hear it, Jen. Awesome, yeah, right? You guys are paying this instructor for, right? Awesome. Everybody's awesome. Every, what's the song? Everything is awesome. Everything is, awesome. Everything is cool Everything when you're part of a team, right? Lego movie, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. I don't know. I was going to say something. Well, what were you going to say? <laughs> Thanks for doing this, Mike. We don't see you again? <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to be hooked up first. I want to make sure this is good to go. So we've got the... Main anchor so this here. This is an auto block. This is an auto block. This is the safety line while I'm testing to make sure this works. And then the auto block is going to make sure that if I slip or I hurt myself on the way down, I won't just fall if I let go. If I get knocked out by a rock, this will stop me from going anywhere. Do we have another length of rope up here to go down after you? No, come back up. No. No, you do not. Do you have a ladder? Kitties, don't try this at home. 
it was tough for me to get down sometimes. Yeah, we're not going to go in the water. All right. <laughs> You can get pictures. Maiden voyage. I'll see you at the bottom. Uh, we'll wait for you to come back up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not. <laughs> You'll find your way. You'll be here in 10 yeah. minutes. Wow, this is really taking a long time. I, tell, I, I told you, man. Right down, man. No. There we go. Hey, you look wow. at me. What? Okay. That's a good shot. Be careful taking your pictures over there, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm getting it through the crack. Okay. Right. There we go. Or not. No, I can't hit the crack. Oh well. But it's not moving very much. Ooh, this is scenic. There he goes, he's still descending. He's, he's got a hundred feet or so. He might be picking up the roar of the water more than, than my voice. Spinning around a little bit. Still under control. Still going. Still going. Here is the mouth of the cave, extending high, 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 way up there, over a hundred feet. That long line you see is the rope, right, right near the water's edge. Now, originally, our spot really had us coming in right there. Uh, no bueno, not good, not good. So, so we decided against that. And that was a blast coming down. But there are a couple of uh, different features, different, a couple of different wrinkles from the way that I have, I have repelled previously. So uh, that, made it, that made it a little more interesting for me. It's still awesome, but it made it interesting because a couple, a couple things are different. I don't want to get into the technical part of it. I'm waiting for Jennifer to come down now. Now, this cave is open this time of year. Public lands, open by the state. And you can go caving. You can actually come in and out three different entrances here. This is Tennessee's uh, largest cave opening of the nine to 10,000 different caves that they have in Tennessee, this opening is the largest one. So I'm actually gonna be on assignment and I'm, I may not really be able to get a good shot of Jennifer if I'm mining the rope. Minding the rope. We're gonna do a, what's called a fireman's belay if necessary. 
We've got 300 foot of rope here. Um, this is the end of 300 feet, but this this rappel is only only I say only. It's only a little over 100 feet, so we actually drew up so much of the slack, we took it up to the top, so that we we have enough down here, and not too much down here, because our instructor, a milkshake, decided. Uh, we needed to not have so much slack. He ran into a little bit of trouble because it, it, um, it's a new rope, relatively new. It's, it's very stiff. So the stiff rope was kind of bunching up and it wasn't feeding through his, his descender system very well as he got close to the bottom. The one thing I did notice, which I will mention that was different from, different from previous repels I've done, my brake hand, through these gloves, it took, it took on a lot of heat. I really felt like in the, the hinge between my forefinger and thumb, I felt like I was taking on a lot, taking on a lot of heat. All right, there she is. She is now repelling. She's pushing off. She's about to about to lose the rock right there. So no time for playing around, I'm going to have to drop this. So our intrepid adventurer is back, ting, cool? Yes. Glad you, glad you did it? Yes. A little different, you have to be, oh you can't hear me, you have to be more safety conscious, con yeah, you have to be more safety, safety aware, conscious, conscious yes, aware um, on a single line repel than you do when someone's up there belaying you because you can go fast and have fun. But you can't do that with this, and you really have to keep that brake hand on your booty. And I, I want to do this and go fast, and I, I had to, I had to be safe. So I was scared a little bit at the beginning, which is yeah. why I'm like, Farvin, Farvin. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was fun, and I liked how really I could just stop and enjoy, enjoy the scenery. It okay, so uh, I have to go retrieve something that I hid in the cave. A month or two ago, Milkshake Mike was here, Mike, and he lost his stick. And we came back to the cave a week or two later and found the stick and hid it in the cave. So we are back at this particular spot and Patrick was able to retrieve the cave, the stick, walking stick, that is a prized possession of Mike's, <laughs> to return to him. Wonderful. So how does it feel to retrieve the stick that we hid months ago? Feels like the end to the last crusade. I hope the video can hear you over all of the, the wonderful ones. The end of the last crusade. The end of the last crusade. Yeah, that's, that's making quite a bit of noise right there. And so it may be hard to hear me. That's why I'm... Oh, Moses! So part the sea for me. <laughs> no, no, it'll work, it'll work. Pharaoh snakes. All right, so this is the, while we still have some light out here, this is the, uh, the wrap up. We're cleaning things up. That is, you're right, that's pretty awesome. Right it there. is, yeah, it's so easy to it's, find. It is a three-step process, a little bit of uh, Oh, I see the way it looks. Time, but I do like the way it looks. It does, it does look very... And uh, the daisy chain was very good yep. over there. You should have got him on film doing his, his chin oh, flicking. I gotta save more content for other days. Flicking, flicking. If I'm gonna... Right. 
fill content every day, this is going to be quite the chore. You're right. I mean, I'm you just going to do, and I'm shaving everything. today. Yeah, this is how you do that. And this I don't know. You... Emily follows a lot of Instagrammers who basically do that every single day. It's like, oh, well, here's how I put on my makeup. Let's watch someone else who puts on their makeup. Uh, we should do I a makeup I'm gonna video have to, while I'm... we're out here. That's what we should do. <laughs> then we'll get a lot of followers. There won't be me. Someone else. <laughs> makeup from the wild. We could do a what to use for makeup in the wild. Is my light still on? That's right. It's just shining. All, oh, the, just shining. all the different like um, things you could rub on your body or whatever. That's right. Well, that was fun.